Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about packed cell volume or hematocrit. Now what is packed cell volume? So whenever we get a EDTA sample of the blood, we if we centrifuge it, the volume of the red blood cells, this is the packed cell volume, this is the hematocrit. Okay, and uh, we will discuss this in detail. So what is packed cell volume? It is the volume occupied by the red blood cells when the sample of anticoagulated blood is centrifuged. Now what does it tell us? It tells us the relative proportion of the red blood cells to the plasma and it is also known as hematocrit. And the um, units of expressing this is percentage. Uh, it is percentage of the original volume of the blood or it can be a fraction. Okay, now going to what is the use of PCV. So, uh, we already understood that uh, whenever we centrifuge the blood, the blood is, uh, there is red blood cells, then there is plasma. And in between there are WPCs. So, what is the use of getting the, uh, this volume of RPCs? Firstly, this helps us in detection of presence or absence of anemia or polycythemia. Now, if the anemia is due to decrease in the RBC cell count, then the PCV will be low. Or either there is polycythemia in which there is um, increase in the RBC cell count, then also PCV will be useful. Secondly, it is also useful in estimation of red blood cell indices. I have a separate video on red blood cell indices so for calculation of MCV and for calculation of MCHC we need the PCV so it is use, useful in that also secondly also we can recheck the accuracy of hemoglobin value we do hemoglobin by another methods like sign hemoglobin method but to recheck the accuracy we can also check by this method if you multiply hemoglobin uh, into 3 we get the PCV so we can uh, if we have PCV we can uh, take an idea that how much the hemoglobin of the patient should be so this was a use now there are two methods how, how we can estimate hematocrit. There is a macro method and there, then there is a micro method. Now macro method, it uh, requires more amount of blood. So it is known as macro method. Uh, it, the main method, it uh, uses the Wintrobe's tube, uh, which is also used for estimation of the ESR. So if we have a patient in which who uh, ESR and PCV both we need, we can use the Wintrobes method. And secondly is a micro method in which the micro, uh, this is known as micro hematocrit method because in this a very minute uh, quantity, very less amount of blood is required. So uh, mostly the micro method is preferred because uh, it is rapid, it is convenient and a very less amount of blood uh, is used to determine this okay now we are not discussing in detail about the uh, method uh, first you can see over here this is uh, the PCV uh, if you see this is the red blood cell this is the PCV and then we have a separation into plasma and then there is a buffy coat now buffy coat contains mostly the WBCs the platelets okay now uh, whenever we centrifuge the anticoagulated whole blood. There are three zones uh, which we see in the Wintrobe's tube. There is a plasma, then there is buffy coat layer, then there is packed cell, uh, packed red cell, and then we can measure the packed red cell, and this is the PCV. Uh, now, buffy coat is uh, especially important if we want to. Uh, check something which is in uh, rare quantities such as uh, LE cells, malarial parasite especially if the malarial parasite is very uh, rare in the blood we can estimate, we can check from the buffy coat layer also and if they are immature cells they can be present in the buffy coat layer. So for this it is important. Now uh, importance uh, whenever we centrifuge it uh, we get plasma. So uh, plasma normally it is straw colored. However it is colorless in case of iron deficiency anemia. It's pink if there is any hemolysis is present because the RBCs will break down it will give the pink hue. Yellow if there is serum bilirubin is raised and in uh, hypertriglyceridemia the plasma can be milky. This is not in relation, uh, this topic is not indirectly relation to the PCV but because uh, we will centrifuge it then we should uh, also check about the plasma in addition to the PCV. 
okay now uh, significance of pcp what is it firstly we already discussed that uh, in anemia uh, the pcp will be lower mostly it will be lower and it pcp can be increased in it can be increased in whomever the plasma is decreased uh, like dehydration a shock burns and lastly if the rbc count is increased like in polycythemia so uh, the significance of the pcb uh, comes mostly in the anemias in the polycythemia and the disorder of red blood cells now going to the micro method now micro method uh, we are not discussing in detail the procedure but what we do is we take anticoagulated whole blood uh, the mostly the capillary blood only we take it in a capillary tube it's a very narrow tube and uh, we take it in that and now centrifugation is done now in centrifugation it is done in a special hemat micro hematocrit, uh, hematocrit centrifuge uh, and then we take the reading using the micro hematocrit reader now this method is also very uh, accurate and is mostly used okay so you can see over here these are the micro hematocrit uh, metacrit tubes capillary tubes these are used and you can see how much thin they are so they require very less amount of blood so um, we can use these also so going to the reference ranges uh, reference ranges uh, it varies according to the uh, physiological condition of the person it varies according to the males and females firstly like in males 40 to 50 percent uh, is the PCV and uh, in adult females it is it ranges from 38 to 45 percent but if you change the physiological condition if you uh, if the female is pregnant now the PCV will be lower it will be 36 to 42 percent and this is uh, very much of importance because in adult females when they get pregnant the plasma it increases more than the increase in the RBC count so uh, the PCV is in uh, is uh, slightly decreased now in children it's uh, around 30, uh, 37 to 46 percent we are not discussing in detail but newborns they have a higher uh, percentage of uh, pcv they have 44 to 60 percent so this was uh, about the pcv going to the journal notes the journal important things which can change the pcv so firstly if uh, during blood collection if there is prolonged application of tourniquet uh, it will increase the hematocrit also if there is excess squeezing of the finger during the skin puncture this will dilute the sample with the plasma with the tissue fluid and uh, this will lower the hematocrit also whenever we have to determine the PCV we have to uh, ensure that blood to anticoagulant ratio should be proper if we have excess of edta this will cause shrinkage of the red blood cells and it will again falsely lower the hematocrit so these are the things which we have to take in uh, met, uh, um, in uh, so we have to think about it if there is pcv is deranged so low hematocrit can also be there if there are clots in the sample and if the RBC morphology is changed, like in microcytosis, macrocytosis, spherocytosis, and sickle cell anemia, so what happens is plasma gets entrapped within the RBCs, and there is an artifactual rise in hematocrit. So, um, if the RBC morphology is correct, we can report the hematocrit as it is. But if it is um, varied, we have to check in, uh, check whether any sickle cells are present, any spherocytes are present. Okay. so this was all about the uh, pcv or hematocrit so if you like this video do like share and subscribe to this channel and ask any queries regarding this topic thank you